Welcome to Out of the Blue number four. So, here's another writer The Invisible World by Herbert Carrington. Herbert Carrington was an associate. J. Hewitt McKenzie. We're going to read one more little passage out of J. Hewitt McKenzie. And uh, I discovered yesterday that this book is linked on, uh, <coughs> if you go to the Wikipedia of J. Hewitt McKenzie, you'll find a link to this book, but it's a different edition. So my edition, I'm reading off of page 158. My edition's a British edition. The uh, the link, the page, the one linked to on Wikipedia is an American edition, and I think this passage is on page 201 or 202. So, the book says, <coughs> quote, "Psychic science is educating men to regard the physical world as the outhouse of existence." where the human spirit is most nearly dead, being buried within matter too crude to allow full manifestation of that spirit. Man must therefore learn to adjust his consciousness to a realization of this fact, and to perceive that reality does not lie in the outer physical matter, either of the earth or of the superphysical spheres, but in something within himself. When once this is realized, his education will proceed rapidly. But previous to this, he may be regarded as one asleep, living in the dark ages of the senses, with whom it is impossible to discuss reality, for it is beyond his comprehension. Very interesting. So, Day one, I showed this, the Holy Grail. And there's a lot of question about what the Holy Grail is, what it means. And, uh, without going into what everybody else says it is, I'll tell you what I say it is. The Holy Grail, which is supposed to be the give, you know, the Holy Grail is this. The Holy Grail is our language. The Holy Grail is letters. The Holy Grail is the symbolic universe that exists in our minds. There was a time when Y's were dotted. If you uh, get into calligraphy um, and uh, there's a book by Drogan Will, what's his name? Mark Drogan. Medieval Calligraphy and Technique. That's a uh, it's a Dover book. It's very easy to, to acquire. And uh, there's a, a little note in there to remember to dot your Y. So at a certain time period, Ys were dotted. So the Holy Grail, letters, words, the symbolic nature of language. Why is that the Holy Grail? Well, that's a larger subject. Strange to say, there's, you know, uh, if you were, if you're following this in order, you might have seen yes, last issue. I uh, I was talking to Machine Tools up at the Roots Room. Machine Tools is from the future they say, and they say they're from 50 years from now, and then, so we're going to do a little time travel now, because today, 
is April 2nd. And uh, so the theme of time travel seems to be popping up. So we are going to travel from today, April 2nd, to yesterday, April 1st. No fooling. Here we go. Ready? One. Say the magic words. Two. Three. Anyway, what is the Holy Grail? I'll leave that for later, because for now, the Holy Grail brought us some visitors. We have, that's correct, Joe Diamond himself. Joe Diamond. And it, could it, it, it is, it's David Parr. <laughs> David well, Parr in the it back. Is, it is natural habitat. <laughs> it is natural habitat. And here we have Calgary, Alberta's very own Carissa Hendricks here in Chicago, um, preparing for a show in Vegas in October called Temporala, Time Travel Magic, Time Travel Magic, what was that? My watch is spinning, she's already doing it, oh, she's watch already spinning. doing it, spinning <laughs> forward but it's still spinning. Joe Diamond, <laughs> now that's the first I saw your tattoo, let's focus oh. on your tattoo a minute. Yes, yes. Oh wow. Diamond Diamond and Spade. And yes. Spade. That's far out. Yeah, you should see where the heart is. <laughs> yeah, 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 I can't I'll... show that one on camera. No. That's no, nice that's... tattoo work. Thank you, thank you. You surprised me. That's very yeah. tasteful. Very yeah. interesting. Look at that. A very good friend, uh, uh Karen Henning, uh designed and uh drew both of them. Far out. Oh, she's wonderful. So, Carissa Hendricks, would you like to say hello to anybody special? No one is special, no. I mean, you can't put me in a position to do that because now what I don't mention will be sad. Everybody yeah. is special. You know what you do? You say, you say this, you say, I want to say some hi to somebody special. They knew who they know who they are. Yeah, okay. They yeah. know who they are. You, yeah, okay. okay. <laughs> and then everybody's like, oh, he's talking about me. Right. <laughs> so, so, like, shout out to someone special. You, you know who you are. Good. Yeah, that's why it's quicker than being like, I'm going to get in trouble. You have clearly been married, sir. <laughs> I haven't been married, but I'm, I'm tactful. I've learned some ah. tact in my yeah. day. Yeah. So, from book. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in the dictionary. Um, so anyway, Temporella. So it's, uh, it is now today. You know what day today is? April, April Fool's Day. So you have a good whole summertime to promote this. So how many people are in Temporella? Five. Excellent Fine. dancing, and it and it deals with time travel magic. All the magic is still done by time travel. That's interesting because that's a funny coincidence. Because in this vlog, out of the blue, it's called. <laughs> I uh, just talked to a band called uh, Machine Tools, and Machine Tools is from the future. They're from 50 years from now, and the Cubs still have not won the pennant. <laughs> I ask. I believe it. So the the time travel theme seems to be uh, prominent. Sorry, David, what was that? Coincidence or is it a coincidence or is it a conspiracy? That's very interesting. I think it's both. Well, so we wish you all the best. Carissa Hendricks from Calgary, Alberta. October. Las Vegas. Yeah. Magic. Unless it all goes terribly wrong. <laughs> no, it's going to go great. In which case, you'll be back in Chicago. I'll be back in Chicago. <laughs> well, in my uh, on the magic theme, we'll talk of just a second on the magic theme. This book, Spirit Intercourse, J. Hewitt oh, McKenzie. Spirit Intercourse, yes. It's uh, theory and practice. The, 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 the way that that fits into magic history is that J. Hewitt McKenzie claimed that Houdini claimed in that book that Houdini was actually dematerializing. The way Houdini got out of the milk bucket or walked through walls was he was pretending to be a stage musician, right, right. but in fact he was actually dematerializing. Yeah, Conan Doyle endorsed that. Yeah, yeah, Conan Doyle was in on that. 
So that's how that fits into magic history. Speaking of the future, let's look on that wall above above the state. Go ahead, walk that way. Waldo. Mm -hmm. Painter of the future. What's the significance? I don't know. <laughs> well, we found him. <laughs> yeah. Waldo's from the future. So we got a lot of future. Did, so did he actually play the future? No, he's from the future. Oh, he's from the future too? Okay. His paintings. Well, Waldo, well, that's another story, but um, Robert Heinlein is a science fiction writer. Yeah. And uh, he wrote a book about Waldo. And uh, oh. he also wrote a book about Magic Ink. Oh. But I don't want to ramble too much. <laughs> so that's it for today. Thank you, Carissa Hendricks. Thank you, David Parr. Thank you, Joe Diamond. <laughs> oh my god, it just appeared there! Behold! Mystery of the Age.